Hello fellow maulers and uh, NASCAR and die cast and NASCAR memorabilia collectors. I just thought I'd show you guys my NASCAR collection I got here. All my 124 scale die cast and I've got some other videos on my channel of my monogram Days of Thunder, Rowdy Burns NASCAR build. I've got it done now so I'll show you guys it also. I've got a lot of autograph stuff. Uh, I just got a pretty big collection but Anyways, I'll be got quiet here and let you guys check it out. I'll talk about a few things here, but anyways, enjoy the video. I got these I'll start out with on the side here. That's a signed Dale Earnhardt Nationwide Hero card. Pretty cool. He's got a neat looking signature. And I've got a Michael Walter up here signed. The old Pennzoil car, Winston Cup. That's pretty much the era that I like is Winston Cup era. I really don't collect any of this modern NASCAR stuff. I just like the old stuff, but there are some newer NASCARs that I like. But here's some part of my Days of Thunder collection. I've got all the cars from that movie. I want to get the Taco slot car set by Days of Thunder. If anybody has that, I'd be interested in it. But I love Days of Thunder stuff. Anyways, I'm going to start out with the case here. Anyways, I made a video of this case. I bought it at a thrift store for like 20 bucks. And I went to Walmart and put lights in it. They work off, actually they work off a remote control. And uh, just made it look really cool. LED lights. And there's also lights under each of the shelves that work by remote. If you can see those there. I don't have them on right now. But anyways, here's my bottom shelf. This is a lot of NASCAR memorabilia. Mostly old stuff. Winston Cup era. The packs there, Sprint Cup, one of my Dell Jr. COT cars, Sundrop Earnhardt bottle, it's pretty neat, Rookie of the Year, Winston Cup, that thing back there, that folder's full of race cards and uh, hero cards, but uh, there's a uh, Alliance Robert Presley Transporter by Matchbox, it's signed on the top, I don't know if you can see it, but it's signed by Robert Presley. You know, I've got a card here by Max. It's signed by Robert Presley also. He signed it both in gold. And I thought that cup was neat. It's actually got a car in it. It's kind of neat. Matt Kenseth's old car. It's just random stuff here. It's, it's really neat. I love this stuff. Lots of Earnhardt stuff. You know, there's some hats. And a bunch of cards and movies. There's a Davy Allison thing. And I love those action uh, 64 cars. Those things are so neat. I like how they put them in the clamshell. You can pull them out and display them if you want to without hurting the packaging. But anyways, that's that shelf. And uh, here's this one. This is the second shelf. A little Ken pulley there. Dale Jr. And actually, I found that the other day. That Kenny Rogers six-pack movie. If you guys haven't ever seen that and you're into NASCAR, you've got to watch that. That is one of the best movies. But I got that at a McKay's store where I live. McKay's Books and Video. And that is a really rare DVD. I think I paid like $30 for that. That's really rare apparently. I didn't know that. But anyways. Got some Earnhardt stuff here. That little car there is signed by Elliot Sadler. If you can see it there. And that's my Elliot Sadler race used lug nut. From the Sharpie 500 No 5 at Bristol. That's when he drove the M&M's car. I like Elliot Sadler. He's a cool guy. There's my Stroke Race DVD. If you guys haven't ever seen that, you definitely got to watch that one because that one's really cool. He drove the Chicken Pit car. I want to make that model. I'll have that model soon or die cast. I'm going to make it. And there's my Harry Gant Skull number 33 signed truck back there. Harry Gant, that's like one of my heroes. But yeah, that's signed by him. Then here's my Earnhardt Hall of Fame COT car 2010 Charlotte pretty neat and then I've got all this stuff here that you can't see it that Sterling Marlin's card signed back there too bunch of videos and DVDs I really like that Earnhardt paint scheme there that's really cool yeah, bunch of neat little cars there's a 66 Rusty Wallace IROC car back there that's signed by Kenny Wallace. 
That's when he drove the Cox treated lumber car. But yeah, he's got a great autograph. I watch that guy's channel all the time. You guys gotta watch that guy's YouTube channel. Kenny Wallace is awesome. He is a really cool guy. And those are uh, Eric Jones and Joey Logano race used uh, rubber, tire rubber back there in those cards. It's kind of neat. Really ain't huge fans of theirs, but I like anything race used or, you know, memorabilia like that. I've got a Terry Labonte signed Goodyear tire. I've got to go get it, though. I don't have it here yet. But anyways, here's the top shelf here. Got a couple of those newer uh, cars from NASCAR Authentics. I thought those were neat. I love the city Chevrolet William Byron scheme. I mean, you got like that. It's days of thunder, you know. There's my uh, Action 64 and clamshell case of Earnhardt's uh, Charger. 10,000 RPM speed shop car. It's really cool. I want to get the 124 to that one. That one's awesome. But all these are model kits that's sitting up here. That one actually balled. I didn't build that one. I just went over it and made it better whenever I brought it home. Like I sanded the tires. I went over it with a coat of floor gloss. But, uh, anyways, here's some of my Days of Thunder stuff, too, right here. A couple 64 cars there. There's a sealed tape. And there's my, uh, launcher and fuel bottle Days of Thunder set. Came with all five cars and a little launcher thing. So that's really neat. And then they did the, uh, Nintendo game Days of Thunder. Which is actually kind of fun, you know. It's kind of corny, but it's fun. You guys gotta play it. I mean, it's old, but it's fun. And then here is my monogram, Rowdy Burns, Days of Thunder build that I've done videos of on my channel. I finally got it done. Well, it's not done. The only thing I gotta do is put the windows in it and the grill, the two grills, and then it'll be done. I just hadn't had time, but I just stuck the body on it to see what it would look like. And I'm telling you, man, that's probably one of the best NASCAR models I've ever built. I went over it. Well, I'm going to go over it with a coat of floor gloss. I used a new kind of black spray paint from Walmart to do that. Uh, it's called Extreme Shine or something. Uh, gloss black by uh, Rust-Oleum. You guys got to try some of that. I mean, it is really, it's like it's got clear coat in the paint or something. I don't know. Look how shiny that thing is. I love that thing. No, that thing turned out so good. Even the interior. I've got other videos shows the interior you guys can check out, but I've got decals in there. All the gauges are painted. I mean, if you didn't know any better, you'd think it's a die cast. That thing is just so cool. Those wheels, tires turned out awesome, too. I'm pretty good at building models. I've always been, you know, I've never had anybody really show me how to build them. I just pick them up and build them. But, uh, anyways, here's my 1998. I think I've showed this one before. My uh, when he won the Daytona 500, I built that one. That one turned out perfect as well. I built all these little toolboxes and stuff, and to go around it, those tires I glued together and sanded. Glued those little air guns on the top of the toolbox there. That thing it just turned out really good. Pretty good at building these NASCAR models. And these are rattle can painted. I don't have an airbrush or anything. I want to get one, though, eventually. But anyways, there's a Sam Bass autograph back there. And what I thought was really cool about it, he's actually working on a, in the photo, a 1998 Daytona 500 when Dale won it. He's actually working on a painting of that. So I thought that was neat. He did a lot of the race programs for NASCAR. and just all kinds of stuff for Dale Earnhardt. But yeah, Sam Bass, he was a pretty cool guy. He actually died not long ago, I think. But uh, that's his autograph. And there's one of those commemorative cars they did. Winter Circle, Earnhardt, Wrangler car. It's kind of cool. Winston Cup, VHS. Anyways, here's the top, what I have up here. A bunch of different stuff. Uh, I just bought these cases here at Hobby Lobby. 64 cases. I got a bunch more. They display your cars really well. I recommend picking up some of them for your little 64 cars. They make them look better, too. That little thing back there, that's a Dale Earnhardt. Some kind of interactive CD they came out with way back. Probably, probably never was too popular, but 
There's his Oreo car by Reveal. I want to get the 124th to that also. Here's Dale Jr.'s Delphi. Uh, I think that's an action car. I don't have the box for it, but it's his nationwide car. But it's kind of weird being Dale Jr. with a number five on it. And the way that looks sort of like Terry Labonte. But yeah, it's kind of neat. It's when he drove a number five car. It's really detailed too under there. And then here's Casey Kane's Great Clips car, I think by action. Uh, Dodge. It's really detailed. And then that's one of my prize possessions. I love that thing. That's my Franklin Mint, I think, 1992 Fan Appreciation Tour. Uh, Richard Petty's final ride that he did when he retired. But yeah, that's a Franklin Mint. If you guys have never had a Franklin Mint die cast, you've got to get one or see one. They are top notch. Everything about them, the detail is just perfect, spot on. Looks just like the real car. I've got all the paperwork goes with that also, and it's got an autograph by Petty when you buy the car. So, uh, Franklin Mint stuff is really cool. You guys got to check it out. Those are out of my Richard Petty uh, taco stock car or slot car set. I just kind of set them in there. I got to get another one of those. That body's a little faded on that one, but. And there's my Jimmy Johnson signed rookie card back there. It's when he drove the Excedrin car. And a video is about to stop soon, soon, so I better hurry. But here's my Earnhardt Jr. trucks, a couple of petty cars there, and cereal box. And then I, here's all my 124 scale. Sorry, I'm trying to hurry here. I'll do another video later, but. Here's my Earnhardt cars. What I have so far. Bass Pro Shops at the bottom there. Simon Michael Walter there. And I've got all this stuff here.